Today, we have an interesting challenge. We are having an input list with us. So first of all, we need to convert it to a stream and then we need to convert it to a map such that the key of the map is the ID of employee and the value is the whole employee object itself. So let's see how we can do. So first of all, we are going to say here amp list in this way and then let's convert it to a stream, something like this. Then in the next line, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to invoke the method collect and after this collect, what I'm going to write here is I'm going to say a semicolon. Also, let me bring it a bit towards the left so that it's clearly visible to you. Now within this, I'm going to say here collectors and then I will be saying here to map. I mean, it's that simple, direct as it is. Now you can see that this to map is going to accept two arguments. The first one is going to be what kind of key you want to provide here. So here I'm saying that in terms of key, I want to make the ID as key. So I will be saying E is the input. So for this, you get the ID as the key. So it is going to look something like this. Then the value is going to be the employee object as it is. So for this, I'm just going to say here E that is again the input and the value is again going to be the whole employee as it is. Now let's execute the code. As you see, we are getting some exception here. Let's see what it is. So it says there is a duplicate key 101. The issue is that in input, we are having two IDs, which is 101. Both name is Abhishek. First one is having 3000 salary. Second one is having 10 times salary, that is 30,000. And I love this second salary better. So what we want is that whenever there is such a scenario, the map should override the previous value. I mean, generally also map does the same thing. So what we can do is that with this two map, we are having one more overridden method. So that can accept third argument. So we will go here and in the next line, we are going to provide the third argument. Now this third argument is going to accept two inputs. So here we are going to say E1 and then we are going to say E2. Then I will be saying that whenever there is something like this E1 and E2, directly take this E2. If you wish you want to do some kind of computation, that also can be done. You can say compare the salaries, whose salary is more than take only that one. I'm simply saying take the latest one, that is E2. So now let's again execute the code. As you can see, now we are getting the correct answer. And just by executing one code, my salary has increased 10 times from 3000 to 30,000. Do like the video if you find it interesting. 